so thank you for taking the time uh, to talk to me today. Um, so I know just to kick things off, um, the the Michelob Ultra, uh, the NBA GM is an awesome throwback uh, to a lot of people who yes. grew up with it. I'm curious, did you ever play it yourself back in the day or were you too busy playing actual basketball? No, no, I, I, I did play back in the day, uh, for the 90, when the video uh, game came out, definitely every player got the opportunity because it was there in the arena, it was that All-Star weekend. Uh, myself, uh, I could not wait to see myself yeah. in the video game, and especially in the 90 also. We, the Denver Nuggets, was having a great success after beating the Seattle Supersonics. So everybody was looking for to see what the youngest Nuggets look like in the uniform. It was very fun. But you see Mutombo with the heart of faith. Like my kids always tell me, Daddy, your hair used to be so high. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I And uh, having me doing my finger way back in the day when it came out, it was very cool. Uh, were you ever a, a big video game guy aside from that, or was that sort of your, your big one? I was not a big video guy back then. When you have young kids, yeah. you're becoming a video game guy. <laughs> Either you teach them or you buy the video game and you try to beat them when they're playing it. And uh, that's what I did. Uh, I fought adopted kids in the 90s with my wife, so... We were making sure they had their much joy, so there was always video games everywhere in the house. Did you ever beat them, or did they have did they have the upper hand? Oh uh, no, they beat me Fair because enough. I don't call myself <laughs> ever. Until today, my kids can still can beat me in any one of those video games because I don't see myself uh, an expert in those games. But what was your first big basketball memory? My big basketball memory, I would say, go back in the 1994 when we beat the Seattle Supersonic, uh, be the number one seed, knocking the number one. Uh, it was something incredible. Nobody ever steal. Um, people you have dismissed us as a winner. People wrote us off. Um, people didn't think that we did deserve to be there because we won only like 34 games, you know. To see the team that won 34 games and still making a playoff, that tell you what kind of battle that was going on back in the 90s. It was really battle, and it was a special. We did have a great group of young talent uh, with Alfonso, Bakmo, and uh, Brian Stiff, and uh, Reggie William. It was a great group, and uh, we went in, we did believe in ourselves, and uh, we did something that uh, nobody ever done. I can't talk to you without talking about your finger wag. I still really kind of, I never really know exactly which game I did at first. But I know that that happened my rookie year before I made the All-Star. Because I was one of the first rookies to ever make the All-Star team after David Robinson. So there was so much excitement of uh, me coming in the league, the way I did believe in myself. The way I project myself that uh, I want to play a long time, um, even though people didn't give me a chance uh, to display the, uh, my offense skill that I did have. But I did believe myself that, that like I, said, I was lucky, fortunate enough uh, to get some advice from Bill Russell that um, I will win the game through my defense ability. And uh, I will last in the league as long as I can uh, because of uh, my, my defense. And I went and proved the world that uh, you can win with your defense, and I did that. If anyone knows, it's Bill. Um, and I know that you previously said you lost you lost a lot of money at the beginning because of the finger wag. A lot, a lot. Can, can you estimate that, how that's much? Why, that's why I'm still working for the NBA so they can <laughs> So, okay, we give you a job as a global well, Okay, so, fair, fair so we can just pay you back all the money you gave to us. Do you actually know how much it was in the end before you switched over? I was just... Well, back then, I really didn't care how much money it was funny, yeah. man. You know, I know it was like $5,000, every technical file. I remember a few years where I let the NBA technical file, but my technical file, it was not like a me going after the referee or cursing. He was having fun, yeah. It was just having fun. Um, I remember uh, Uncle David, our late commissioner, used to call me all the time. Uh, 
think what's going on? Uh, can you stop? Can you stop? I used to tell uh, David that I can't. It's just coming naturally. <laughs> and uh, it got to the point that there were so many coaches that was complaining. And then he was like, you know what? You can just go back to do it. We're not going to find you no more. Fair enough. But make sure that uh, you look at the friends when you're doing that. <laughs> but uh, it took the NBA like 15 years before they changed their mind about it. Just one last question for you. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Um, there's a f- pretty famous clip. Uh, I think it was 1991 of Michael Jordan shooting a free throw, uh, calling you out, closing his eyes, and swishing it. Do you remember what led up to that moment? Do you remember what did you yeah, do something to make him mad? I made him mad. I told him that Michael, you was lucky to be able to don't go to me before, but you're not gonna get me. And Michael didn't like that. You know what? Uh, it took Michael. It was ninety-seven, right? Is that yeah, the All-Star it took game? Michael yeah. seven years. <laughs> and that tell you what kind of respect did I have on the guy? This guy was one of the most dominant basketball players ever played this game. But he could not climb the Mount Mutombo. 